get back out here in the range with some more of these bullets. I was doing some research on a video I made last night, and I want to apologize because it was only supposed to be like four or five minutes. I accidentally left a, a piece at the end there on my timeline, and I didn't realize it. So I'm being just like 10 minutes, you know, like six minutes of nothing. So that was my bad. Uh, but I was reading up on these, and everybody's saying like how rare they were, and people wanted like $60 a box. I got these for 25 a box. Got like three of them. It's actually a pretty good deal for 32 because it's a little pricey. But uh, and then I was looking how they're made. I will put up here, like right around now, about uh, how the bullet's designed. So I cut got the one out of the two by four. So what it is, it's pretty neat. This is a nickel coating, which nickel is pretty hard. It has a little bit of lead in there. It has a solid steel core that looks like a a penis. And a little bit of lead goes up on the sides too. So, actually, I get I get some new bits from a Dremel, but I was gonna cut it open and try it. Anyway, uh, I got a chronograph since it's daylight out now. I'm gonna try to chronograph, and we'll just do a couple little more penetration tests. Make it a quick video here. Okay, I got an AP round in here. So I was doing some research, and I think they were designed for the military, uh, for a, a machine pistol. I can't remember which one maybe the clob whatever the, that is i can't remember like the scorpion or the it's not the scorpion i can't remember anyway i got two water jugs up let me put a two by four behind it okay so i put a two by four behind there let's see if i can get it right in the center a little bit low yeah i was looking for it because i went through both went through both water jugs you must have missed a two by four literally sitting sitting right there i can dig that out so i went through two water jugs and stuck in there i mean i just don't think a 32 acp has the power you know it, it won't even deform a regular bullet but we'll try a couple more okay i shot a few regular ones they were 820 843 ish so hopefully we get a reading on this one here Ooh, 977. So quite a bit faster. Almost a thousand feet a second. All right, so we got some uh, four by ones, I think. And I'm gonna try these out, see if they work a little better than two by fours. So we'll go full metal check it. Let me fix that. All right, I'll try to put an AP round right above it. Okay, so that was a full metal jacket. That was an AP round. Okay, and let's see if there's a difference. Both went through to one, two. Hopefully this isn't too hard to figure out because this, this wood's so shot up. Three, four, five. I think they're still going. Here's a 22. <laughs> Five. Hey, what are we up to? Six total so far. All right, I'll pause you guys and we'll get back to it. Yeah, as soon as I hit pause, the next one. There, there she is. And I think the full metal jacket now right there she is perfect test so people are like oh man they go through car doors and stuff a lot of stuff goes through car doors they just don't have the oomph so it literally it went in there sideways too there's a full metal jacket there went through one two three four five six seven this one's stuck in the seventh this one's stuck in the eighth not that big of a difference like i said a 32 just does not have the power so yeah you can see here none of them are splattered even a full metal jacket did not deform at all so yeah they move a little faster solid steel uh they definitely penetrate a little bit more but very very little for they're just 32 just not not have the oomph yeah just to end the video off here see 
if I can hit a couple golf balls. Man, they look small from back here. Oh, that was so close. To the right. There, I got it. I think.